Right, come with me. I want to show you a picture that's inspired me from my very early days of coming to the gallery. In fact, the first time I saw this picture was on a school trip to the gallery. And the only thing I remember about the picture then was that there was a, a vast blue area and a shimmering white person in the middle of the picture. It excited me. And after I left school, I wanted to come back to the gallery to find that very picture, the Bronzino Allegory of Venus and Cupid. It's now my favourite picture in the gallery. And in fact, my favourite part of this picture is in fact that nipple just there, poking through the fingers of Cupid behind Venus. That, in fact, is a part of the picture that didn't actually exist uh, for a period of time in this picture's history because that part of the picture was, in fact, considered so rude that it could not be shown to the English public. It had to be made safe. The director of the gallery at the time, Sir Charles Eastlake, and the uh, keeper of the gallery, they all decided that such a picture shown to the English public was, was bound to cause some problems. <laughs> So the best thing to do with this picture was to make it safe uh, for the English public so they didn't get any ideas, as it were. And uh, the first thing they started with, as I said, was to paint out this nipple to make it look as though the nipple was actually underneath the finger. And in a further attempt to make this picture safe, this kiss between Cupid and Venus was also considered to be beyond the pale, mainly because this kiss in fact involves a tongue. Therefore, this can only be described as a French kiss. This sort of behaviour in a public space was not to be tolerated. So they in fact painted out the tongue as well, further making this picture safe. And of course, uh, even more of a problem with this picture, I'm afraid, was this area down here. This is the area that, of course, uh, we are used to seeing in a nude picture, uh, but Bronzino has in fact broken the cardinal rule of nude painting. He's in fact included some hair, I'm afraid, in this section of the picture. The only thing that they could come up with at the time, Charles and the um, trustees and so on, was to in fact um, paint a small veil, in fact, across this area to again make it safe and in a final indignity, I'm afraid, uh, this very pert, very suggestive bottom over here was also considered to be far too dangerous as well. And this was covered up by a myrtle bush painted up the side of the picture, again, to make it safe. The, the problem with this, of course, as most people will have noticed after a while, is that, well, Cupid, isn't Cupid uh, Venus's son? Well, I'm afraid that that is entirely correct. This is, in fact, Venus's son. And uh, the situation that they're involved in here does look a bit too amorous, as it were. It seems as though um, Venus, in fact, is seducing her own son. Uh, and that's what makes this picture rather uh, controversial and rather risque, because there is, a, well, a suggestion here, more than a suggestion, shall we say, of incest. You may recognise the foot at the bottom here, just about to tread on these um, doves. Uh, in fact, this is the very foot that inspired Terry Gilliam, the uh, illustrator or animator who worked with the Python crew um, on their Monty Python programmes. In fact, this is the very foot that is always seen squashing something or another in Monty Python's um, animated sequences. <laughs> This is one of those um, inspirational moments when Terry Gilliam has had a look at this picture and looked at that foot and decided that this is a foot that he likes. 